tennis is evolving into a new era. As this transformation unfolds, one of its most beloved figures, Big Four member Andy Murray, is bidding adieu to the sport. His departure has sparked a wave of nostalgia within the tennis community. Fans and fellow players alike reminisce about his remarkable journey and iconic moments on the court. Among those sharing their cherished memories is the coach to rising star Coco Goff, Brad Gilbert. Gilbert engaged in an interview with Tennis One in Washington. He, along with the host Vunch, deliberated on a wide range of topics, including Goff's season and his favorite moment of Murray. He did not fail to share a story of Murray that reflects upon his determination and resilience. Speaking in the interview, Gilbert said, My favorite Andy Murray story was in 2006 after the US Open. Continuing further, he shared, I took him to train with Michael Johnson. And Michael took him to the track and he goes, okay, we are gonna run eight 200s today and in between each 200 you are gonna walk the distance. And then he goes let me see if you can get eight under 32 seconds. Murray was equally determined to prove his medal. And then he told Michael, he says, I am gonna get eight under 30 seconds. And I was like, okay, then I asked Michael, what are the chances of him being able to do that? He's got no spikes he's got tennis shoes on, no chance. However, anyone who has followed Sir Murray over the years knows athleticism is a standout characteristic. Literally he does eight, all under 30 seconds. Gilbert recalled, it was an unbelievable effort. This, meanwhile, is not the first time when the 62-year-old has highlighted the incident. Murray reached the second week of the US Open for the first time in 2006. But despite winning the first three rounds gracefully, the star player lost in the fourth round to Nikolai Davidenko. But for Gilbert, his show of his athletic ability became a highlight. While covering Andy Murray's third round match in the 2011 Australian Open for ESPN, Gilbert shared that he lived near Johnson's house. He added that he introduced Murray to the American athlete, and the duo performed a series of sprints together. Remember, Murray hung up his rackets after his defeat in the quarterfinals of the doubles category at the Paris Olympics. And Murray's competitive spirit was highlighted by his former coach as well. Leon Smith trained Murray from 11 to 17 years of the latter's age. He shared that the star player was unbelievably competitive and desired to win everything he competed. Murray, on the other hand, has attributed this trait to losing to his brother Jamie in the earlier days. However, Gilbert is not the only person to resonate with Murray's fierce behavior. When Roger Federer recalled the brutal pain he endured against Murray. As Murray bid adieu to the tennis world, his old rival friend Roger Federer shared a stirring ode to the star player. In a video shared by the ATP Tour, Federer can be heard expressing his high regard for Murray. However, what caught the attention of the fans was his mention of the brutal pain he suffered while playing against Murray. Speaking in the interview, the Swiss maestro recalled their playing days. And just from my side, I have so much respect. Love playing against you, even though I lost so many times against you. And it was brutal. Interestingly, Murray has made Federer endure this pain 11 times in the 25 matches they played against each other. But Federer did not fail to wish him luck either. But congrats on everything that you've achieved and everything that's to come, he said further in the interview. These anecdotes are a testament to the era the Brit gave to the tennis world. The world will indeed remember the glorious years and the stories that reflected his determination and his zeal to perform better each time he stepped onto the court.